Hi everybody, Tom and Shelly Jones here. And yesterday we shared some information about um, our why, but we used an example of Perry Bohr off um, his, his cause and the orphans that he supports. And the reason we used his um, as an example is because he's selfless in his cause. Everything that he receives in the form of donations, 100% goes to his cause. So he is, you know, a legitimate uh, 501c3 nonprofit organization here in the United States. And that's something that we look for when we go to donate uh, to 501c3 nonprofit organizations. We look for what percentage of the dollar that we're giving goes to the cause, and we don't donate unless 100% goes. And that's pretty hard to find those. Absolutely. And that not only goes for nonprofits, that also goes for not for profit, since they are absolutely two different things. And interestingly enough, today I um, saw an interesting article. Um, about the Susan G. Komen Foundation that really kind of fit into what we were talking about yesterday. So uh, we thought we would do this quick video and introduce uh, the blog that we wrote talking about uh, the fact that the Susan G. Komen Foundation is in a little bit of trouble again because of the um, high salary that they're paying their CEO, Nancy Brinker. Um, according to uh, several watchdog groups, uh, Ms. Brinker is making about a quarter of a million dollars more than her contemporaries in other uh, um, nonprofits and, and not-for-profit roles. Uh, actually, she uh, she knocked down a cool $684,000 last year. That's pretty good for our volunteers. And work. we just, uh, as Shelly said, we uh, we just kind of wondered, you know, uh, if a CEO is making that kind of money. Um, how much of the dollar I give is going to the cause and how much is going to overhead and salaries, um, advertising and all those kinds of things. You know, they're required to tell us that information uh, and, and give that information to us. Um, personally, we think that that's a little high. Um, that's a personal decision. It's, it's absolutely your money and you do with it as you, as you wish. We just wanted to kind of, uh, kind of raise awareness of this since it happens to be a trending topic and uh, we thought we would share this with you. So have a look at the video and uh, decide for yourself. So that $684,000 represented a 64% raise from uh, 2010 to 11 to 2011 to 12. So right. they kind of do a different fiscal year. Um, so I don't know about anybody else that is out there in the working world, but I know very few hard-working people that have earned a 64% raise in the recent past. And it's kind of funny because the Susan G. Coleman came on and said, well, all our donations are down. It doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing as a organization. It has everything to do with the economy. But yet, they can afford this 64% raise for their CEO. What about that quarter of a million dollars that could have gone to help who knows how many more people? So yes, we are very passionate about supporting causes. We're very passionate about um, you know seeing that the right thing, whoever is to decide what the right thing is, is, is you know is, is looked at. But we would like your um, Opinion on whether or not you think $684,000 is too much for a volunteer uh, position, you know, for a CEO for a nonprofit, and what 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 you think, and you know, how much is too much? Absolutely. And uh, one little disclaimer here: we're absolutely not against uh, Susan G. Komen or or any other nonprofit. Uh, we believe that they've done a lot of great work. Um, it's just uh, a shame that they get a black eye over something like this. But I think they could get a lot more done if they just spread the wealth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sorry. A little opinion in here. <laughs> but that's all right, just as it is yours. So leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about donating to volunteers, who do, uh, nonprofit organizations, who do you donate to, and what's your criteria. And is this too much money? Good. So, we'll see you on the inside. Thanks for joining us.